Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. How is everybody doing today? I have a little bit of a frog, I think, in my throat today because I was outside with the dog this morning and there is something blooming that smells so good. But anyways, I had uh, quite a surprise today. Phil did not tell me he was going outside because he's hunting our carpenter bees. So whenever he goes out, that's what I think he's doing. Well, however, he came back in. And look what he brought me. He brought me one of our beautiful roses. So my inspiration today is the colors of this rose. I think you should put that rose in your hair. I, I would, but I, I don't want to make, I don't want bugs. It's almost as big as your head. It's so pretty. It is. Hey, it matches your shirt too. Yes. <laughs> totally does. Okay, so. That's my inspiration. My colors on my canvas, this is a 12 by 12, and it's the color to go from Sherwin-Williams. And uh, there's no water, there's no silicone, no, no glue, just totally out of the thing, the carton. Um, I have Juneberry. I have- You can show them. Pollen powder and dishy coral. Okay, the Juneberry the <laughs> June is here. I don't have the color. Thing oh, it. okay. All right. It's That's the darker. Berry. That's the darker. Yeah. Okay. So what I did was I put my coral down first, added a little bit of the yellow, and then I put the Juneberry on top. However, I want to add just a tad more of this yellow. Okay. So you're doing it, your, your <coughs> base is made up of those three colors then? Correct. Okay. And, yeah. and what you do is uh, I just put those down and then I just Kind of go like this. I didn't want all that yellow though. No. Um, kind of messed that up. Yeah, I did, but that's okay. And then you just kind of mush it around until you get what you want. And I thought this, you know, was really close to that rose, the colors. Yeah, you did pick up. Let's see that again. Let's put the rose down by that. Yeah, you've got the the yellows, the darker reds, the Juneberry, and the coral, and the coral. Okay, very cool. So that was your inspiration today. That was my inspiration for my base. Ah. Now. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Okay, the colors I have here are. This is Cobalt Turquoise by Golden, Primary Elements Daffodil, Golden Quinacridone Magenta, Primary Elements Guatemalan Green, Amsterdam Permanent Red Purple, Snapdragon by Primary Elements, PBO uh, Iridescent Green Yellow, and of course my 24 karat gold. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swirl these on there. A lot of these colors... Um, they're blooming here in Tennessee. So it's kind of like just a spring okay. creation. So we have the purple irises blooming. We have the pink roses blooming. We have the green for the leaves. We have this color magenta. We have the yellow. I mean, we have so many colors of the flowers blooming. We not just moving in. We don't know what colors are popping up. We have a beautiful um, day lily. <clears throat> I've never seen one like that. <clears throat> it's kind of like um, a coral and then a deeper, deeper, like burgundy. And I mean, it's beautiful. So every day there's something new popping up here. It's popping up in my throat as well. But that's life, you know. You move into the woods and you start getting a whole bunch of new allergies. But that's okay. Just take my Claritin and I'll be fine. Of course, I should have taken it before now, but. Yeah, Kathy mentioned these doggone carpenter bees and they call them carpenter bees because they drill holes in your wood. And it's amazing. They, uh, they don't eat the wood. They chew it out in perfectly round holes and that's where they uh, make their nests and so forth. And they are just a, quite a pain to get rid of them because we, we get rid of them, we spray for them, we swat them with a, with a fly swatter, 
Uh, just, uh, but we live in the woods, as Kathy mentioned, and they just come in waves. And unfortunately, they can do real damage uh, to the wood. If you have a, we have a porch on the front and the back of our house, and they're having a grand old time. Yeah. <laughs> and it was kind of neat because I was out there trying to get one the other day, and he came out of his hole. And what they do is, as I said, they don't eat the wood. They chew it. They come out of the hole and basically spit the wood out <laughs> that they've chewed. All this wood is kind of flying down on me. But uh, Another thing I wanted to mention, um, I've been getting quite a few comments asking if I <clears throat> am going to resume my lessons that I give. Um, at this time, I'm not going to do that, but that doesn't mean I won't do it in the future. So I just want to clarify that um, at this time, I will not be doing lessons. I have uh, quite a few things going on here. We have people here a lot of trying to get our landscaping together. Uh, well, just trying to figure out a busy. whole bunch of different you're, you're stuff. You're busy and it's hard to coordinate. It is. And um, so. So at this time, no. But that doesn't mean I won't do it in the future. I got a lot going on here, people. I think they can pick up so much stuff by just watching your videos to begin with. I mean, you pretty much demonstrate all the different techniques that you use. Yeah. And um, So watch closely. Don't fast forward through it. You might be able to and, uh, learn something. Some of the comments, uh, they can't they can't do uh, their, their projects and their... Uh, Creations are not turning out. Uh, if you use my recipe number 478, it is for blooms, it is for swipes, it is not for Dutch pours, it is not for flip cups, not, nothing like that. I had one today and uh, nothing turns out. Well, you have to use the bloom. You had a comment or, today or something you're saying. Yes, okay. the bloom or the um, swipes. 478 is not for Dutch yes. pours, flip cups, none of that. Okay. Yeah, that is, Kathy is talking about video 478. There's a direct link to that recipe video in the description box. And I'll tell you her exact recipe for her pouring medium and also for a cell activator. Okay, now we're going to move this over here. Over here. Like Kathy is an affiliate of Color Art Primary <laughs> Elements and all their wonderful products. You can get a nice 20% discount off of their products by using the discount code, which is Kathy Miller 520 There's a direct link in the description box to get to Color Art's website and take advantage of that discount. They have wonderful products. And Kathy also is an affiliate of KS Resin. You can get a nice discount from them by also using the discount code and link in the description box. Well, this is what my are you doing there? cell activator, which is Oxide Black and Australian Floetrol. I'm gonna add a little bit of the turquoise green cell activator on here. Now the Oxide Black is from Amsterdam. These are all Amsterdam. I know, you didn't mention it though. And, well, that's your job, if I forget. <laughs> that's why I have you, Phil. Okay, now. We're going to see what we get here. Okay. You never know. Kind of like a box of chocolates. Mm hmm Oh, I was actually hoping you wouldn't go to the edge because you... I wanted to go because I'm going to spin it. It's not going to make any difference. Well, you're not going to see I'm that base to... then that you put on. Well, it's all about the base, though. Okay. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> Because I'm going to tip this once we get All right. a little bit going here. Kathy does have an Amazon shop that she's curated with many of the products that she uses in her paint pouring endeavors. There's a direct link to Kathy's Amazon shop in the description box. Uh, please check that out. And if there's anything out there you need, any purchases you make does help Kathy's channel. As you can see, Kathy is blowing on the top of the cell activator, and she brought up really cool cells and colorations. Yeah. 
Okay, we're gonna do a little enhancing here and see what we get. Hmm. This is going to be a mess. No, actually, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to spin this a little bit. <clears throat> Make it a little bit bigger. Okay. That's kind really of cool. cool. That's kind of cool, actually. I think I'm going to take it off the end. Because I already saw the base before. I'm going to do this. That's just pretty cool. That's really neat. It is. That is really neat. I just got to bring it my way. Kathy does have a Facebook group called Paint Pouring by Kathy Miller. She'd love to have you join. It's growing tremendously. You can post your own creations, ask questions, make comments. I love clicking through there. There's so many wonderful okay. artists that post in that group. Okay. There's a direct link to Kathy's Facebook group in the description box. Now, what do you oh, think wow. that is? That is really cool. What do you think it is? What do I think it is? Yeah. What's my inspiration? A flower. Right. This is the stem. I, oh, I see. Okay. All right. Cool. Very cool. Now, I like how you got all that wonderful character in the middle, and then you got around it the nice little cells. You did pick up a little bit of the base that you put down originally. I, I think it's really cool. It's very different. It's very, very different. And I was going to enhance. Okay, everybody, I'm back. So I decided I do want to enhance this just to see what it's going to look like. Okay. You know me, people. <laughs> I have to enhance. You know me.
Oh yeah, that enhancing really gave a lot of extra character uh, into the whole painting. center. Yes. Wow, look at the sparkle on that. I know there's a lot of sparkle in this. Now, okay, you know what else I'm going to try? I'm going to try to do a bloom in this middle just to see. No? No. Okay, well, then we won't do it. I don't, I just don't think that would, that's my personal opinion, okay? That I don't think it'll. Well, you don't like the combinations like that. You don't like one thing on top of a different thing. Well, that's true. I think you've right. got a, I think you've got a nice composition here and I okay, don't. Okay, we'll leave it. Okay. We'll leave it. So that's what I wanted to do. So now everybody saw me in hands. <laughs> and now you're happy. Now I'm happy. See you all later, alligators. Bye.